let's make a video screen capture of your iPad or iPhone. tutorial or a demo, a video of your iPad screen is a great way to get your message across, but this isn't something that's supported natively in the OS. You can always take a camera and point it at your iPad screen, but glare and other factors make this a difficult way to do a demo or a tutorial. We'll be using a Mac or PC desktop application called Reflector by Air Squirrels, QuickTime Player which is free, and a device running iOS 6 or later. Now, Reflector lets you mirror your iPad screen or your iPhone screen right onto your desktop, either Mac or PC. From there, it's pretty easy to take a video screen capture of what's appearing on your screen and edit it for your tutorial or your demo. Launch the Reflector application, and then head over to your iOS device to access the AirPlay menu. Choose your Mac or PC desktop and switch mirroring on. The screen of your iOS device will appear in a window on your desktop. You can move it around and resize it. Head up to the Device menu and turn on Show Frame. I like the black frame here. I like to set my desktop background to something plain so it doesn't distract from my screen recording later on. You can see that as I use my device, every movement is mirrored right onto my desktop. I use QuickTime Player to make my screen recordings because it's free and comes with my Mac. Choose New Screen Recording from the File menu, and then click the Record button. Now everything on your desktop is being recorded, so move your mouse out of the way and go ahead and make your tutorial or your demo. If you're on a PC, there's lots of other screen capture software you could use. Try Jing or Camtasia, for example. Once you're done with your tutorial, come up here and hit the Stop button. Your screen recording will be saved as a file on your desktop. You can import this file into any video editing software that you use, like iMovie, Windows Movie Maker, or Final Cut Pro. My personal favorite is Camtasia, because it lets me make all the callouts and animations that I need. So there you have it, a really great way to make a video screen capture of your iPad or your iPhone. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you make something cool, share it with us. We'd love to take a look. Watch our last episode for ways that you can make a stronger password. And tune in next time for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. For HansMundal.com, I'm your host, Hans Mundal. Thanks for watching.